good news. What is this? I haven't seen this for months. Yeah, and I guess it may be in the backdrop of a couple videos, but we are going to do a little bit of work to this today. Um, I did have to remove all of this to get the wiring harness out through the brake lines going across, which was all these. So I'm going to try to get everything bled out today. So at least makes it a little nicer trying to move this thing around than using the heat brake. And maybe try to accomplish a few other things that need to be done on this. Like uh, the new lower control arms that we got. Now I know a couple people are going to say you should just get the bushings and stick the bushings in because they go bad. But that's fine. We'll put them in. Right now we just need to make sure that we have these bushings that are good so that we can get this through our inspection here. And then we'll we'll do the upgrades. So you can see that's actually really clear right now. I did get a little bit of a splatter here. But what I did was I bled it here coming out of the master cylinder, just cracked them a little bit when it was getting pumped. And then where it comes into the ABS unit, since we had it drained up here, this is what we wanted to make sure we got the air out of. I'm hoping that I got most of the air out. Sometimes you got to do this a couple times, but I did it going in, so I got all the air out of these two lines, and then I did it coming out, so I got all the air out of this, and then I did each individual, each individual caliber, and I did that, and what will happen, since the air, air was up top, I'll get no air for a while, and then it'll like, you'll be able to get the air bubbles, because it'll push it through the lines, and I did that on all four corners, so hopefully, that fixes us up with that. So right now I'm working on removing this lower control arm here and getting it installed. Ready for install anyway. And we're down to undoing this. My car's been sitting a little while. A little bit of cobwebs in there. I don't know if that's coming up. Look at that. So, but we're down to that. I got this inner bolt here is loose. I'm getting ready to take this the rest of the way out. And then I got to get this here and undo that and then we'll get this new control arm on. So to see what's on this one here. Look how pretty and shiny that is. It even says right on it. So get the rest of these bolts out get this thing off you can get a carbon crate. Oh, that's about right. I'm doing the other side. This is the driver's side. That's how it was in there. And I can tell you right now, but that has to be someone hooked chains on this to pull this thing up when they were towing this thing originally when it was flooded. But this is the old arm. We have the new arm in. It's not quite as pretty as the other side. It's all polished and stuff. But uh, I'm getting ready to put the other cotter key in this side. So, that's all locked in. So I thought I would just share this. Since the brakes were bled out and stuff, and I got everything finished on the front end, I mean, it's still in the trailer. And this thing pretty much hasn't been out of first gear. I jumped in, and I actually shifted up into third gear, and it was rolling okay. And then I heard a pop noise, and I'm like, what, what happened here? Check this out. 
Look at that. The rotor just cracked the whole way through. This one over here seems to be fine. It doesn't even look like it was... This one doesn't even look like it was engaging. The other side looks like it was engaging a little bit. Now, if you, if you remember, this one here, we did have an issue with these pads being compressed a little too far. So, we'll pull this wheel off here in this, in this stuff. All right, so we got everything tore off. You know, e-brake shoes, they look good. I mean, I was using the e-brake to stop. Check this out. Before that crack goes. All the way through that rotor. I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was because something took the heat temperament out, temperament out with the way, the way it has these pads wore. Because I can tell you right now, there's almost a whole pad on the other side, so I'm sure, I'm sure there's an issue with this caliber here being bad. So I was hoping that I wouldn't have to address this problem right away, but I guess that's what we're at now. Fixing back brakes.